two hunks in a football. This is Jim Seamus. Do not go there. Uh, and Andrew Matheson, double coverage. Our independent slash JC edition. Nice. Um, we're going to be re- previewing Aptos, St. Francis, and Cabrillo. Sure. Um, any other games, all the league games we did in a special league edition because there was way too many games on Friday night to break down in one single video. That's right. So there you go. Twice as nice. Uh, hey, remember the Titans? Yes. Not the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gun t- the Gun Titans. That's who Aptos is facing this week. Yes. Uh, a, a game made possible because St. Francis went independent and Harker went independent. Yes. And both teams had an open date and were like, hey, you look pretty good. Let's pick up you, <laughs> Gun. You're one and seven. Yeah. <laughs> well, they didn't know that. They did not they? know that. Yeah. Gun, uh, Gun not having a, a good season or at least a, a good as. As good of a season as Aptos is having. Yes. Um, Aptos, of course, six and two, already wrapped up a share of the SECL title, um, and gun one and seven, moving in the opposite direction. That's right, the opposite direction. Uh, they are led by Noah Riley, their quarterback, who has passed for nearly 500 yards this year. Yep. But uh, basically, they like much to... of which is going to one player. Yes. Uh, guy. Kaznick. Yes. yes. They like to run the ball a little bit when they can. Sure. Uh, with Sean, Sean Lister, Lister and uh, Run Forest Run. That would be Forrest Larson. Um, we, we practice these days yes. before we tape. <laughs> Clearly we have. <laughs> hold on. There it is. Run Forest Run. Forrest Larson. Um, anyway, the Titans are having trouble scoring this year. They've had a touchdown or less on five different occasions. Yes. So yeah. I don't see them scoring this week. At against, all? No, I don't. Okay. Aptos will pick up its third shutout. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> uh, because that, when you delay it out, it's like we don't have a teleprompter, so it's like three, and it allows me to count. Okay. I'm, sorry. I just, I'm wanna, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. No, now it's all good. Okay. So anyway, obviously, Miles Bodwin, running back, and the rest of the 15 other Mariners who get the football should run all over gun this weekend. Sure. Aptos' ground game, six yards shy of eclipsing 3,000 yards in the season. Their two biggest games of the year, really, have come in the last two weeks against SoCal and Scotts Valley, and they won by a combined 96-6 to margin. Uh, you can say the same thing for Gunn. They played Homestead at Monta Vista uh-huh. and lost by a 90-14 to margin. Um, so, <laughs> obviously... <laughs> Yeah, what we have already discussed. They're yes. moving in opposite directions. Yes, they are. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they're a C-League team. Uh, they've lost four straight. See ya. I would say it's going to be five straight. I think Aptos is a big winner. Okay. Next game up on the schedule. Yes. Another independent. Uh, St. Francis hosting at Cabrillo College. Santa Cruz Cardinals in their what is their final uh, regular season game yes. for St. Francis. Santa Cruz has another one next week to wrap up uh, league play, SECL play. Um, but 7:30 p.m. at Cabrillo Friday night, and Santa Cruz, uh, excuse me, St. Francis this is their last chance to prove that they, you know, they still belong in the SECL. They lost to SoCal. They lost last week to Harbor. Yes. Talked to quarterback Nick Sander afterward. He says, "Yeah, we we do want these games. We want we want to kind of throw it back in their face." And, yeah. And uh, improve something a little bit. So this is their last chance to do it. Well, Santa Cruz beat Harbor earlier this year, mm-hmm. and it, we've done the common opponent thing all. And Harbor beat St. Francis, right? Yeah. But I'm just thinking, like, in, in terms of extra motivation, Santa Cruz does not want to lose to St. Francis. No. I mean, they never want to lose a game, but I mean, they already built Harbor. If they allow St. Francis to pull a shocker on them, yeah. You know, I don't see it happening, but I mean, I think Santa Cruz has way too much firepower, and everything that St. Francis does well mainly passing the ball mm-hmm. <laughs> to Garrett Salcedo. I mean, Santa Cruz defensive secondary is one of, one of the best in the area, I think. Yeah, and, and they know, really... Speed-wise. They, they kind of uh, managed to corral uh, Harbor's passing yes, game a couple did. weeks ago with that secondary. And you mentioned they don't like to lose to St. Francis. They haven't lost to St. Francis. They've only done it once yeah. uh, in, in the all-time series. They've won four straight. And when you kind of break things down, next week's game for Santa Cruz is much more important against Scotts Valley. Mm-hmm. But... I mean, they still have a chance at an automatic bid, yeah. technically, to the to the CCS playoffs. They have to win that game against Scotts Valley, of course. Yes. But um, still plenty to play for for them. Obviously, they're not going to be taking this week off just because no. it's independent. Definitely. I mean, uh, Nick Siandro, the Sharks quarterback, was sacked three times last week, right? Yes. So, I mean, Miles Keyes McKay, when he gets on his motor running, I mean, there's no stopping this guy. I, I think maybe that the linebacker slash defensive front for yeah. – uh, 
for the Cardinals will be will disrupt the passing game a little bit this week. Defensive ends love passing teams, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, they do. They don't like to go against the rushing teams. Um, we, you, real quick, though, we, yes. you mentioned Garrett Sassino for St. Francis. 94 yards uh, rushing last week in a touchdown. He had a 60-yard touchdown run, 89 yards receiving. Drop the pencil. Yes. Becomes the all-time, uh, set the all-time single-season school record for St. Francis in receiving 872 yards currently. It was set last year, of course, by Nate Ceballos, 847 yards. So congrats to him. And doesn't he have a shot at his brother's old, uh, single season scoring record? He does a little bit. He's, he's close. Got, he's he's got, got 102 points on the season. Uh, the record his brother set, Zach, back in 2010 was 130. Yes. Yeah, so go off and score 28 points and make a game of this. If he scores 28 points, St. Francis might win this game. Yes. I, but like, I like those odds. Yeah. <laughs> but... No. Santa, okay. Santa Cruz. I'm going to go with Santa Cruz as well. Like you mentioned, the, Santa, the, the secondary as well. Our final game of the weekend, and our only game on Saturday, uh, Cabrillo will be traveling to West to Saratoga High, excuse me, uh, to take on West Valley, winless in Coast Conference South Division play. Of course, Cabrillo picking up their first win last week uh, and defeating uh, at Monterey Peninsula College 33-22. Behind a solid defensive effort in the second half. You know, you and I are great enunciators. We put, usually put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. Um, is it Caleb or Caleb? It's Caleb. Caleb Slaughter. C E L E B. Anyway, Caleb Slaughter is the man, okay. or was last week with seven sacks, right? Seven sacks. I want an encore, a big time encore this week. At least 10. Uh, seven sacks, eight and a half tackles for loss, one fumble forced. Uh, he's a freshman out of Kansas City, and I believe a month ago he used to be on offense. So there you go. Excellent switch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Cabrillo has struggled on defense this year. Last week they appeared to turn a corner. It would be nice to see some sort of continuity and consistency of extending that to another week and yeah. shutting down a West Valley team that does not score points very often. Not uh, often, no. They have six straight losses since beating Mendocino 16-0. to zero. A team that beat Cabrillo, by the way, <laughs> so go figure. So it could be a doozy. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they've scored 15 points or less uh, five in the past five games. Yeah, Ryan Jones, the quarterback, three touchdowns, ten picks. Uh, Dre Hill's their guy on the ground. Um, he's got about 664 yards. Is he but a doctor? Dr. Dre Hill? Yes. Oh, I get you. Okay. He's um, just a running back, I guess. I'm white. Um, when it's one in the morning when we fill these things, I say horrible jokes. Normally my com comedy is really good. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. But basically, you know, I feel like last week Cabrillo was able to kind of focus on the pass game. Yes. West Valley does a little bit of both. They don't do Neither either particularly well. particularly well. But, I mean, that might cause a little bit of problems. But I yeah. think, I mean, Cabrillo... You know, this is where they turned it on, I feel like. Yes, I do too. Great defensive last year. The three second half points against Monterey Pitts. You, you mentioned that Ryan Jones, that the Korea, uh, excuse me, of West Valley Vikings aren't very good at passing the ball. Ryan, <laughs> Jones, Ryan Jones has thrown 10 interceptions this year against three touchdown passes. Yeah. So I no, think. I did mention that. Cool, okay. <laughs> like he said. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> As well. Um, we like the Seahawks. Yeah. Yeah. Cabrillo has won four meetings in a row against West Valley. Um, you know, not in a row that, of course, they had the two years in the Golden Gate Conference, which kind of screwed everything up for this okay. for this meeting. But I like a brio to go five times in a row. There you go. There you go. COASports.com had a roster for Cabrillo. It said Celeb. I'm sure Cabrillo College's website has it Caleb. I mean, so, it, sorry, it could, Caleb. It could be a typo. It could be correct. It could be. A, I just don't know. His name could be Steve. I don't know. I don't know you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> anyway, Steve Slaughter, I like it. You're Steve. That's your name now. Um, that does it for this week's episode of Double Coverage. Uh, this, we, of course, we only did three games. If you're looking for more games, like hey, where's SoCal? They're in the other episode where we broke down all the league games. All right, so check that out. Check it out. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, on Friday night and on Saturday, you can follow us on Twitter where we'll have all the updates from all the games that we're covering. Twitter down there. And we have all the videos from all the games that we're covering on Tout. Oh, that's why I'm holding this. There's the phone, there's Tout. Then is that Tout? That's Tout. That's okay, also on your phone is Google Play and the Apple iOS uh, app for double coverage. Read us online at SantaCruzSentinel.com and at forward slash forward slash football. Yes. Yeah. And like us on Facebook. We love it.
Please let me go home. Shut up, dude. I feel so broken.